In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Heaven in your heart. For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. Mark 3 verse 35. A pure fountain will not send forth an impure stream. Neither will a true Christian utter words of abuse or enter into contention with those around him. When we set our hearts on God, we shall have a constant battle to fight, for we have the enemy of all righteousness to contend with. In every conceivable way, he will seek to discourage us and cast us down. The world stands opposed to Christ and his work. But those who are striving to do the will of God have this consolation. They are united with the highest authorities of heaven. Trusting in Christ and advancing step by step, the children of God will gain the victory. If we desire a place in the world to come, we must bring our will into subjection to the will of God. We must follow the light that shines upon our pathway. Let no one think that, while he is living in transgression, he will be allowed to enter the gates of the holy city. Those who, when Christ comes, are in rebellion against God will not be admitted to the courts above. No rebel will enter heaven. Daily, we are to be preparing for the kingdom of glory. God's standard is to test our character. If we endure the test, we shall be given a place among the redeemed. We must bring heaven into our hearts, into the daily life. Christ is an all-powerful helper, and those who follow him will not walk in darkness, but will understand the thoughts of heaven. They will understand the voice of the true shepherd and will walk in obedience. We must search the scriptures for ourselves. As we search them as for a hidden treasure, the truths that we find will give us strength to stand in the day of God. God holds us responsible for those around us. They are sinners to save, souls to be won. Shall we allow iniquity to separate us from Christ, from the work that he has given us? Let each one of us say, I will not disappoint the Savior. He shall not have died for me in vain. I want to praise him through all eternity. I must have heaven at any cost. Would you see the king in his beauty? Would you stand around the great white throne? Then you must obey God's commandments because none will enter heaven who refuse to accept the law of Jehovah as the rule of life.